seafood. More than 800 million people around the world rely on it for protein, and nearly 60 million depend on it for their livelihoods. Overall, the industry contributes over $148 billion per year to the global economy. But the widespread use of fishing and aquaculture methods that are damaging to the environment threaten this critical source of food and jobs and, ultimately, the health of the ocean. There is an urgent need to institute more sustainable practices around the world. In order to find fair and practical solutions, fishermen and aquaculture producers need a place at the table. Input price very high. Feed and seed every year increasing price. Why production price never, never increase, only go down. At this present, they are always under pressure and nobody hears their voice. So with participation of farmers to address their challenges, this is very good because if we work with them, we heard from them, then we can find solution for them. The Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch Program a nonprofit program based in California is dedicated to ocean conservation. Over the last 15 years, Seafood Watch's science-based recommendations have helped make it the most recognized sustainable seafood program in the U.S. More and more businesses are using Seafood Watch ratings to inform their purchasing decisions. Seafood Watch is a good, strong science-based organization and using their science and their approach, their criteria, it enables us to make uh, informed decisions so we can create baseline studies of where we are in our purchasing, where the elephants are that we can address, and monitor our improvement. In response to this demand, fishing and aquaculture operations are looking for ways to move their seafood products out of the red and into the green. Seafood Watch actually have a specific indicator, which is also uh, quite uh, good to implement uh, in addition to other certifications. So by applying Seafood Watch actually will also support the faster certification on this fishery. Using the power of these partnerships, Seafood Watch engages directly with seafood producers fostering understanding about which improvements are needed and how to make them. Most importantly, the local stakeholders help develop and implement those changes. One example of this collaboration is the Southeast Asian Shrimp Aquaculture Improvement Protocol, or CSAPE. Regional stakeholders representing all aspects of the supply chain work together to create clear steps for improvement. By adding social elements and aspects of the Seafood Watch standard to existing regional practices, CSAPE maps out a plan to make farms more sustainable, achieving yellow and green levels, and gaining access to new markets. Seafood Watch helps bring people together from all aspects of the seafood industry. Through this open dialogue, they're able to learn from one another as they improve their fishing and aquaculture methods. We get to track our progress. We get to compare how we are faring with the other countries. Are we in the right track? Are we still has to catch up more? The meetings provides venue for coordination with the certificate giving bodies, the funding agency, NGOs, anywhere in the world. And I think that's pretty important to keep the FIP running. Efforts are also underway to identify human rights abuses and risks in the seafood supply chain. The Isra Institute, a Bangkok-based nonprofit, has a team of local anti-trafficking experts that identify and track labor issues. The Isra model and uh, leveraging worker voice is essentially an alternative to traditional social audits. By having an independent hotline, every single worker you know, potentially becomes then a, a data point um, for a very rich picture of information of what's happening in a location. And that information in turn then can be used to share with management, to share with our strategic partners of global brands and retailers and importers um, to make sure that codes of conduct and uh, safe and clean working conditions are in place. 
Então, para nós, é fundamental poder garantir para o nosso cliente de que o produto que ele consome não vem de questões de trabalho infantil, trabalho escravo e que também não está contribuindo para o esgotamento dos estoques ou qualquer outro impacto ambiental. While there's no one-size-fits-all solution to the challenges facing global fishing and aquaculture, a collaborative approach is an innovative and powerful way to foster more sustainable practices while building greater trust within the community. By bringing stakeholders together and providing technical support, Seafood Watch helps empower fishermen and fish farmers. Their experience and knowledge is the key to finding solutions that work in their communities. Seafood Watch is also supporting similar collaborations in other parts of the world. To show your support of these efforts, we encourage businesses to incentivize change through their purchasing decisions, for industry to engage in improvements, and for government to support these local projects. Contact the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch program to find out how.